everyone so in this video we'll discuss about lambda base cloning vector so let's get started so in this video we'll specifically discuss about the bacteriophage genome organization and how it looks like and what all things it consists of so with that so talking about the lambda genome organization and what all things it exactly consists so you can see a lot of things written on here you can see the diagram also so it's a very looks like a very complex diagram but it's very simple so starting with that so the dna is contained in the polyhedral head structure and the tail serves to attach the phage to the bacterial surface and to inject the dna into the cell also the lambda dna molecule is 49 kb in size so the entire thing is 49 kb in size and the feature of the Lambda genetic map includes all of these things which I'll be telling. So the genes related in terms of function are clustered together in the genome. So there are three different distinctions made in the lambda genome. So the first distinction is the genes which are capable in terms of function and what all functions they provide. So all the genes encoding according for the components of the capsid are grouped together in the left hand third of the molecule so you can see the capsid components and the assembly so this is the left hand so the left part of the lambda genome organization which is the capsid component so you can see the all the capsid components are grouped together here named as a w b c d all of that you can see right Next is the genome controlling the integration of the prophage. Prophage into the host genome are clustered in the middle of the molecule. So all of the including stuff, all of the things which are involved in the prophase, involved in the integration stuff are present here, very in the middle. So you can see the ex integration and the excision. So the excision is just nothing but the removal or the cutting of that particular part of a DNA strand. So this is the most important part. So the first is the capsid component, the head part. In between we have the most important part which is the integration. So the integration of the prophase into the host genome. So in the last video uh, we talked about how the lambda uh, genome or the bacteriophage which has two cycles. One is the lytic cycle and one is the lysogenic cycle. So we discussed about these two cycles and how these two cycles are important and we talked about prophage, prophage there. So we talked about in the lytic and the lysogenic cycle that how these two both are important and how these two both can be controlled. So in which we talked about when a bacteriophage, let's say this is a lambda bacteriophage when it is inserted inside a bacterium. So let's say the circle part is the bacterium and when the lambda phage is inserted or when the genetic material of the bacteriophage is inserted into this so the integration of the host bacterium with the inserted DNA of the bacteriophage all together is known as the prophase so you can check that out in the previous video which I talked about in this case which is the important part which is the gene controlling and the excision feature which is present in the middle of the lambda genome so the third part which is the gene involved in the lysis of host are clustered in the right hand right hand third of lambda genome so all the lysis part which is involved in the making of recombinant dna so which is the last part of the lytic cycle that we have gone through which is the cell lysis so when the particular host bacterium has developed into the uh, uh, dna recombinant ones so when they have assembled, so all the head, tail and the uh, genetic material which is DNA has all assembled into one to form a proper bacteriophage like these. So through cell lysis, through so breakage, the, all the uh, bacteriophage are released. So these are released with the help of these, all of these. So this, is, this involves DNA synthesis, late regulation and the lysis of the host. So this is the clustering is also important in the construction of lambda based cloning vector. So this is the genome organization for the first part which is the function part. 
so this is the, how it looks for the gene function all right so moving with that so talking about the second part which is the presence of the cos site at the at both ends of lambda genome so we will talk about the presence of cos site at the uh, at the both ends of lambda genome so each of the la lambda molecule is a short 12 nucleotide stretch in which the dna is single stranded so this is a single stranded thing you can see here so here's a diagram also for your reference also i'll tell you about the cohesive ends as well so the two strands are complementary and so can be paired with one another one another to form a circular completely double stranded molecule so this would look something like this all right so this is a single stranded which is complementary to each other which can form a circular thing which looks like something like this all right so the complementary single strands are often referred to as sticky ends or cohesive ends all right so they might be sticky or cohesive ends so you can see here which leads to the formation of cos site so which i'll be explaining you the importance of cos site as well so the lambda cohesive ends are also called the cos sites all right so the cohesive ends which are formed here with the joining the ligation of the both ends so this these are the two ends in a single strand when these two are ligated to form a circular structure so these lead to form a cohesive or a sticky end so these sticky uh, sticky or cohesive ends are known as cos sites all right so they play a distinct role during the lambda infection cycle so we studied about the two cycles yesterday or in my previous video which was the lytic and the lysogenic cycle so these play a important role in those cycles so first they allow the linear dna molecule that is injected into cell to be circulated which is necessary for prerequisite for insertion into the bacterial genome so first these need to be circulated for insertion and all the further processes which can be taken place after it has been circulated so moving with that so talking about the last part which is the second role of the cos site which is the cleavage and the packaging of uh, lambda genome so once the prophase is excised from or removed from the host genome so the large number of new lambda dna molecules are produced by rolling uh, circle mechanism of replication and this particular mechanism so rcr which is the ro rolling circle mechanism a continuous dna strand is rolled off the template molecule and the result is catenine consisting of a series of linear e genomes joining together together at cos sites so the role of the cos site is now to act as recognition sequences for endonuclease a that cleaves the catenine at cos sites producing individual lambda genomes so also the cos sites in conjunction with other proteins to pack each lambda genome into a phage head structure so you can see the cos sites which are formed when the sara linear dna structure is circulated to form these types which contains a cos site somewhere here you can say when the sticky ends join so these roll off to form somewhat like this whereas the gene a so the endonuclease cleave the catenin at the cos sites so there are many other enzymes that act at the cos sites which lead to formation of more phage particles like these all right so there are enzymes such as endonuclease a that cleaves the catenin at cos sites all right so when the circular dna or the circular strands are produced these contain the cos sites at which there are enzymes which are known as endonuclease a which acts on the uh, cos sites to make material or to make uh, components for bacteriophage such as the head tail and the dna material to form more phage particles all right so this is how uh, the cos site reacts of so importance of cos site is cause it only the endonuclease enzyme only attract gets attracted at the cos site for producing more individual lambda genomes so let's just keep this video till here hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching